Does North America even exist? I mean, sure it does. We all know North America exists. <laughs> of course it does. But then again, I was only told that it does. I flew a lot of airplane miles. I drove thousands of road miles. I've not seen anything to confirm the below hypothesis. At the same time, I've seen actual places, but I did not see the entire planet from above. Nothing in my experience or educational background supports this hypothesis. We have GPSs guiding our travels. We have Google Earth capable of showing us even the most distant areas with great detail. Yet, there are few intricate historical details which prompt me to share some of the observations I made looking through various maps and documents. Maps in particular do raise a few questions for certain things do raise questions. Primarily, why would questionable things of this nature exist in the first place? I will start by mentioning a person named Hubert Howe Bancroft. Alright, he's giving, he's giving us a breadcrumb. 1832-1918 was an American historian and ethnologist who wrote, published, and collected works concerning the western United States, Texas, California, Alaska, Mexico, Central America, and British Columbia. Basically what we see in the map below is the continent of the South America looked or hooked up directly to Asia. Man. So we see South America hooked up directly to Asia. <coughs> okay, let me clear my throat. It's going to get good. Hey, welcome back to the Press of John Investigation. This is uh, number 70. Uh, let, me, let me make sure sometimes I... Uh, <laughs> I jumped the gun. <laughs> oh, man, so we did part 75. We're on part 76 of the Preston John Investigation, man. One of our staple series here at 432 to Drive Radio and just something that will always keep the water flowing. You know, Hosea 3, right? Hosea 3, right? They hop to the wave surf. Yeah, we ain't gonna be no harlot no more. No more adultery. No more mixing inferior substances with Hawass pure water. We'll get part two of that Cold Keeper series because we, we keep the cold. Go yet love a woman beloved of her friend. An adulteress, even. Oh, no more adultery. Even as Hawa loves the children of Israel, though they turn unto other gods. And love cakes of rice. So I bought her to me for 15 pieces of silver and a homer of barley and a half homer of barley. And I said unto her, You shall sit solitary for me many days. You shall not play the harlot. No more adultery. No more fornication with these nations, with these idols. Love to my bro, dragon child. And thou shalt not be any man's wife, nor will I be yours. For the children of Israel shall sit solitary all by yourselves. Ain't nobody checking for us. Ain't nobody coming to help us. You are solitary. And you've been sitting solitary for many days. Without a king, man, you don't even know what Preston John looked like, right? <laughs> you don't know what a royal con looked like, man. 
talking about presidents and vice presidents. You don't know about no con, man. You know nothing about no con. You've been in solitary many days. Without a king. Without a prince. You got no royalty. You got no inheritance. Ain't no more royal than the children of Hasharah. Without sacrifice. Ain't no sacrifices popping off. We are in solitaire. <laughs> without pillar, without FI, without teraphim. All your priestly stuff, because you ain't got no con. Afterwards, shall the children of Israel return. So you will return. This is prophecy. This is Hosea. This is Joshua. Yeshua. Hosea. Joshua. Israel returns. Ain't that good? Sound like we got a remnant. Hey, up to the remnant. The remnant of Queen Khalifa, Queen Sheba, Shambhala, Sibola. They're looking for it. Looking for Sheba. Daughter of the seven cities of go oh 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 oh. Oh, we're going to get probably, we're going to jump into Cities of Gold probably next, man. Just look out for us, man. It's time to watch some cartoons. But right now, we searching, man. Because <laughs> Israel will return and search for Hawa. Seek Hawa. Man, what does it mean to be a cold keeper, man? What's the etymology of seek, man? I need to know. We can't take nothing for granted. We need to know what seek means. Because they think we crazy over here keeping cold. What do you do when you seek a while? Man. You might turn into one of them burning ones. <laughs> you might be keeping a fire burning. One of them flaming angels, right? Them flaming dragons. Etymologically, the sense of flying, man, we might be popping off when we see Kawa lofty, but not haughty. God, love the Proverbs 6. Fiery flying dragon. Because we know we're not talking about the alchemical serpent. We're talking about the alchemical dragon. Yeah, man. Especially if we're talking Hebrew seraphim. In Isaiah chapter 6, singing holy, holy unto Hawah. Yeah, you might be seeking when you popping off like that. So when, when Hosea 3 says that you will return, come, the remnant return. Seeks the creator. No hijack in between. Nothing else. You return to your breath. You return to your security. Straight up. Just like you got your breath straight up. Mama gave you that breath. <sighs> she is the breath. That Ruah. You got that directly. Abba gave you that frequency. Our father gave us this frequency. This code. This vibration. We have security in that. We are burning ones. Singing holy, holy. We are seeking. Before you even talk about seeking David and getting on your presto flow, you got a KTC. That's why we're going over the Code Keeper series. What does it mean to seek? To inquire, search for, how do you search for Hawa? You stop calling him God. <laughs> you start breathing again. <sighs> and exhaling your father, the wow, the power, the security. Don't tell that to mama, you know, in Proverbs 8, she says, power is mine. So, so you ain't got no power if you ain't got no breath, boy. You must be thoughtless. 
love problem say so it seems the only way to seek the creator is to keep the code and rule number one stop being a harlot man no more guys no more power no, no more false guys no more hijack you get all that out the way don't even talk david if you ain't doing that if you're not directly connected with the creator then you can get the keys to the investigation, right? You can drive the Ferrari, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? You can pop off with your stuff again, your things in order. But you didn't get that unless Hama Abba gave you a pass, gave you the breath and security to seek David. After you seek Hawa, you seek David, your king. Any confusion here? Are we saying this has happened before in history? I think we're talking about the end of days. Take a breath, my man. We all press the John 76. We deserve to take a breath. <gasps> wow. Like Hawaii, like Josh Hawaii. End of days, my naga. This is so simple. You got to be fighting against it with all the ego you got to not care about David and replace him with your, your Hawashai or JC or Muhammad or anybody else you venerating that you think you got to go through to connect to in order to connect to the Supreme. Most high power, most high over everything. But you don't get to David unless you seek the creator directly by keeping the code. Exodus 20 got us in code. That's a great starting block, a great foundation. You'll be all right once you got that as a community. Imagine not killing each other, not slaying each other. Come on. No power before our power and rocking our Shabbat and resting together. Imagine the unity in that, man. Y'all can't front on, our, front on that. That's cooperative economics. That's collective economics. We don't spend no money from sundown to sundown. 24 hours on their busiest shopping day of the week on Saturday. Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Count to six, rest. Count to six, rest. You could be on this calendar, that calendar, fine. You could say this is this, but not good. But when we do it together and we boycott their busiest shopping day of the week, <laughs> we show unity. That's a huge step. Don't tell me that, you know what I'm saying? We, <laughs> we over here, you know, marching in place, man. That's huge. I've never witnessed that. Uh, entire community keeping Shabbat resting, being one with Hawa resting. I think we popping off. What does it mean to seek? To inquire, to search for, pursue, long for. Are you longing for your creator? Because if you ain't longing for a while, none of this is going to make sense. If you just tuned in for the information, no, you got to tune in for the vibration. Press the giant is a vibe. Don't come over here with your clipboard. We've been surfing the wave. We don't have to convince you of that. We don't have to show you how it's done, you know, but... You will witness as you are witnessing that we KTC. So now we have the past. We have the ability to seek Dawi. <laughs> and we on, <laughs> we on one amazing investigation. I mean, look at all this work we put in throughout the years. And this is light work. You know, we really took our time. It wasn't like we overdid it. We did it here a little. We did it there, little man. Managa, we've been doing it. You know what I'm saying? And look at.
look out for Press the Pack 2, as promised. I'm getting it ready for you. And if you don't have Press the Pack 1, just, you know, uh, email me, and I got you. All my stuff is below. Music at 432thedrop.com. And get your Press the Pack. Music at 432thedrop.com, and I got you. Man. So we want to make sure you got all this in the flash drive. Every episode we've done, you know. So, you know, in case stuff come up missing, you got the whole thing. You can pass it on to your children. We can pop off. We can pop off. Because Israel shall return. See Kawhi, their power. And David, their king. And we, you know, didn't even know this script. <laughs> you know, like that until we was like, at least on press of John 20 or 30. And then maybe the Templar hit us with this, man. And we said, whoa, we've been searching for Dawi the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. The whole time. And now we all 76, man. So can we get to 100? We going to get to 100, man. Shout out to my co-keeper, Nagas. For real, for real. And shout out to my Nagas helping us build Joy World. We are building. Help us get to the 20,000 mark. We going to need it <laughs> to complete such a beautiful project. And we're on our way, you know, A out to my fence builders, my fence building Nagas, all my Nagas contributing, man. I can't do it without my 500 code keepers. So, you know, please uh, just, you know, keep us going up and we're going to go up. You keep us going up, we're going to put it up, man, because we're building a fence in Utah. How real is that? Let's go. So when we long for a creator, we wish for a creator. We desire our creator. We're not fighting against the wave. You have to have this desire in your heart bone before we even start talking about Dawi, man. You got to go directly to Hawaii. You can't skip over that desire to get the information. You got to do that soul search. You got to break down that code. You got to get that vanity out of you. You got to get that covetous out of you. It seems like everyone got it. As soon as you say, I'm keeping the code, everyone assumes they're keeping it. But you got to search. You got to meditate on the law. That means meditate within yourself on what's inside of you. You've been bearing false witness. You can't run from it. Have you been bearing false witness? Have you been covetous? Seeking somebody else's, you know, glory, somebody else's flow instead of building your own. You put another power next to your power, man. Before your power, praying in the name of another power. Have you been doing that? You ain't been on your Shabbat. You ain't been on your rest. You need it all, my nugget, to charge up. You need it all. I'm not saying I do it perfect. I'm not saying I know any perfect code keepers. I'm saying we are meditating on the law. Because we desire Hawa. We long for Hawa. We pursue Hawa. We search for a while by searching within ourselves to keep the code. Because when you listening, when you listening, that's when you come trembling, my nut. That's when you come trembling. Out of fear? Nah, man. Out of reverence, out of obedience, out of humility. You come trembling unto Hawa. Not to David. You search for Hawa. You search for David. But you come humbly, trembling to the creator only and to only his goodness in the end of days. So we're searching for a creator. And that gives us the keys, you know, to search for Dawi who got the keys. Because Hawa hears David. Psalms 18. Hawa hears David. Yapa. Yeah, you know, beautiful man. So we search for our creator. We got it. To perceive quickly or keenly. It means you seeing clearly. You are perceiving. You're seeking now. You're tracking it down. Yeah, man. We're just talking seeking. And so once you do that with the code, you know, now you're listening to the creator. Then you start to seek, search for Dawi. And in searching for Dawi, you have the same, you know, energy that you're flowing with because you just connected KTC to your Ama Abba, 
who's giving you the sight, right? The keenly sight to perceive quickly, keenly. Now you have the sight, man. Now, now it's in order with this sight. With this sight, you can search for David, their king, in the end of days. <laughs> now you got the dragon, dragon flood eye perspective. Now you can see clearly. Yeah, you the last dragon, you know. <laughs> now you can seek out that way. Now you can, you know, long for and wish for and desire your kind. All in order. After you desire the code, after you desire a wow, you know, then you can long for and you can wish for. And you can desire, my naga, because you've gone many days. You've been solitary without a king. So... You should desire your con. You know, they say king, we say con, right? We're in a different language, a different frequency. Israel wanted a king. They got ruled like a king, like Saul ruled them like a king. Dawi ruled as a con, priest king. And this was ordained. This was Baruch from Hawaii, so... Even though Hawaii is our only king, our only true, you know, true Khan, you know what I mean? But David has the keys. He has the fountain. <laughs> he has the water. It's very interesting when you even, you know, type in fountain of youth, you know, just play around with it one day. Just type in fountain of youth and see how how fast you get to press the job. You know what I'm saying? Like you're just looking for, you know, any type of lead. You're just looking for that water. And they like to bring us right into the drop. Even on Wikipedia. Let's see if we get it here. Wow. Yeah. Just look up Fountain of Youth. Click on the first, you know, wiki. <coughs> Shala, let's go. <laughs> the Fountain of Youth, a mythical spring, allegedly restores the youth of anyone who drinks or bathes in its water. Allegedly. Maybe it does. Maybe it don't. Maybe it depends on your dragonfly perspective. Maybe it depends on your purity, your code keeping, you know, truth. You know what I'm saying? Tales of such a fountain have been recounted around the world for thousands of years, appearing in the writings of Herodotus, 5th century B.C. Dies to hide you. In the Alexander Romance, 3rd century AD, and in the stories of Prester John. Yeah, stories popular in Europe in the 12th to 17th centuries. That's interesting because it feels like they discovered us here right in the middle of that time. I mean, Marco Polo already popped it off with Genghis Khan and Kublai and them, you know what I mean? So. You know, this is, this is exactly where they came. This is exactly where Cathay is. This is exactly where India superior. Because I asked you a question at the top. Does North America exist? I mean, ain't that the question? The continent of North America does not exist. Could it be part of Asia? Or is it Asia? And they flipped these maps, you know, and took them off the shelf. But a lot of people seem to think so. At what point, even when they knew this was Florida, they still knew it was Asia. And Cathay, Cathay, like the Katai of Preston John, the car Katai. It means purity. What pure area? This Florida area. All this associated with the fountain of youth, you know. 
You know the other question we like to ask sometimes, man, around here, just for fun. <laughs> oh, man. How did a black man discover the fountain of you? Did a black man discover the fountain of you? It's interesting that they only started looking in America over the last 500 years, right? Just seems real interesting that they popped that off right after they stopped searching in Portugal, supposedly. Because they were searching for 500 years. <laughs> But this ain't pressed is like 1,200 years old. He took six baths in the fountain of youth, you know what I mean? Yeah, to the memory of those seafarers who searched, seeked, <laughs> longed for, right? We're talking about searching. They're searching. They're searching, they're seeking, they're longing for, they're desiring. They want to perceive keenly. They want to find the Preston. They want to see clearly, right? They want to look for the dragon. Mid 13th century, right? Same time, 12th century, 17th century, right? They want to find a dragoon because they figure they'll be able to see clearly, to perceive keenly, to seek, right? <laughs> to see, yeah, I have seen light clear. The one with the deadly glance. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now we're getting to. Now we're seeing clearly. Because when you see clearly, it is deadly to these hijacks. Right. Did a black man discover the family you? And what's his connection with Florida? While most of us associate the fountain of perpetual youth with the New World, America <laughs> does North America exist though? I see Florida. This is the Orientius. Orontius finds map 1531. I see Florida. I mean, you're very familiar with this. Well, Descartes, but Ptolemaeus, Augusti, 1548. All right, so we're in the 1500s and they seem to be giving us the drop. I see Florida, but I also see India Superior. I see India Superior. I see Tangu, where all these wars were fought with Genghis Khan and Preston John. I see Mangi after Mangu. One of the uh, Khans of the Genghis Khan lineage. I see Cathay or Cathay. Just like I see Cathay or Cathay. Right here. In another map. Once in 1548, once in 1531. Come on, man. Come on, man. They're talking Florida on her head bone, looking for the fountain of youth. And they can admit where Florida is, but they're not telling you this is North America, are they? So at what, time, at what point are we going to stop the play play thinking we in North America, man? Drop is just talking some mythological stuff. At what point is we going to say Drop ain't talking mythological stuff? 
drops talking that real spillionaire. We talking the real spillionaire. I see Mexico, New Spain, but also see China. Where's China? Where's India, Managa? Where's Cathay? Where's Florida? Because it seems to have something to do with the fountain of youth, you know? And I want to get back into this British Museum situation. <laughs> and again, we're in 1530, so we've seen the 1531 map, the 1548 map, and the 1530 map. Three maps in the mid-early 1500s, 16th century. British Museum. We're going to get on the British Museum. Got some great documents, historical documents to pull up, connecting the British Museum, some press to flow. But first, we're going to talk Templar, man. First, we're going to do it for the Templar and talk Templar. This is Press of John 76. And I see America, but I don't see North America. I see Preston John in the British Museum in 1530, my noggin. I see the Straits of Ania, which is the Arnon in the script, which is dividing territory with Amman and Moab and different things, maybe pushing them over there. So if Asia's over here on these other maps, and Asia's over here, then will the real Asia Will the real Asia please stand up? Because I see America, but I don't see North America. I see India Superior. <laughs> I see Cathay. I see Mexico. I see India Superior, Preston John. <sighs> but no North America, though. This is cray cray, right? This is cray cray, right? I see Brazil and Peru and Mexico and Florida. We're looking for the fountain of youth. Yeah, I see Florida. I just don't see North America. I see India superior. I see China. I see Cathay. Preston John was known to, you know, rule the car of Katai. Katai is Cathay or Black Cathay as they call it. Uh oh. These Nagas in India Superior, we need our stuff back because once you see clearly, we ain't no Indians like they try to, you know, depict and yada yada. This is India Superior, man. It's the home of the Knights, man. The Solomon Knights, man. The David Knights, man. But Naga, I'm talking. Prester John. What does Prester John have to do with the Shikamago? What does Prester John <laughs> have to do with Hawamak? What does Prester John? have to do with the Kumsa. Or King David. That we are seeking after we keep the code and listen with obedience to our career. And shall come trembling to Hawaii. Let's go. I don't know if North America exists, y'all. But I do see Florida. <laughs> you know? I don't know if North America exists, y'all. But I do see South America. 
And I do see China. I just don't see North America. Wouldn't that be one of the craziest farces in American bull, bull, bullshit history? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that they made up a North America to hide the fact that this is Asia. That this is India, Superior, Cathay, Mangu, Tangu, everything we just saw on the Augusti map. No North America, Mexico, India, Superior, Managa. And again, I see Florida. This is the 1620 Alicarte de Navagare, Porcacci, Tomas. No North America, Managa. Is this where you from? I see Mexico. I see Florida. Is this where you from? Then you from India. Superior. So, you know, we're going to get back at that Lost Tribes and some other tribes. And when they bring up India, it's got to be the first thing you see if you want to see clearly. That we're talking India Superior. Wow, the Far East, they say. But we're just talking Florida. So they only started looking for the fountain of youth in Florida, especially Florida. That has only been the case for the last 500 years. So something happened, ding, ding, ding. Something must have happened that got them looking over here in the last 500 years. Of course, you know, just coinciding with the fact that they stopped searching <laughs> in 1645, these Portuguese. It's a Portuguese monument in Portugal to the seafarers that they lost searching for the priest king, right? So within the last 500 years, <laughs> they started searching for the fountain of youth in Florida, especially Florida. It's, they caught off this search here, <laughs> and somehow they knew now everything they needed to know that they had to come to America to find the Preston John. And at that time, Genghis Khan already made his mark over here, already, you know, had that war with Preston John. So they found the Khan. I don't know which Khan they found. You know, maybe one of the Kublai's guys. You know, uh, you know, or maybe they just saw them. The more and more war was con continuing. And it was a very important war, man. You know, just like you got David in the script going against. You know, what I'm saying. You know, all the. Uh, I mean, this was a tribal war. Whether it was Moab, whether it was Ammon, you know, whoever. David was up against, you know, he was up against, you know, Edom, whatever it took, man. But uh, <laughs> this has never stopped. This Psalms 83 Confederacy has never stopped. These Portuguese that, is lo that are looking for this black man, <laughs> this black man that they say discovered the fountain of youth, right? The Portuguese were also so-called black people. The Spaniards, they used to have a term, swarthy like a Spaniard, because those Spaniards were also so-called black people. So if black people were looking for black people, like we're about to get back in that Estebanico flow, that, you know, King Charles Quinto, Charles V flow, so you know that that's who was behind in the 1500s, all this stuff going down. <laughs> All these were melanated people, man. Key bits of information about the order of things that were systematically being withheld from the black people. At the top of my own list, things weren't told in school is the fact that the legendary fountain of youth was not only thought for centuries to be located in Ethiopia, but that the man who had discovered it and ruled over it was a black man, a copper color con. So when we talking about these last 500 years, they're looking around Florida. That's why they came to India Superior. So, 
And that's why right at that same location, <laughs> you have Preston John. Put it together. Because we all know how the press is popping off. This is actually the picture that they took off of that website. Did a black man discover the fountain of youth used to have this picture on it. And they just removed it like this year. So they're already removing our images. That It was just too powerful, I guess. <laughs> they didn't want this one up there while talking about the fountain of youth. But this is what we got off that same website. That same link used to have this picture on it. They took it off. <laughs> so make no mistake we're talking about the El Presto Juan Emperado de los Abyssinios the Abyssinians they're going to talk Abyssinia on us I'll be seeing you it's another vague term for melanated people whether we're talking India, India Superior African American all that is Abyssinia Abyssinia the word predates Ethiopia, which is another Greek word. So don't get caught up in and fall in love with these words. These are Greek words, man. Greek words, okay? <laughs> Abyssinia talks about a mixed multitude similar to what? Preston John or Moshe with that mixed mur that mixed multitude, that 13th tribe, the tribe of David, the tribe of Moses. Jethro in them, right? The Medianites. The Kenites. We're talking about the Preston. This is who they're looking for. <laughs> the Portuguese for 500 years. This is who got the drop on the fountain of youth, my naga. This is who's holding down India superior. My naga, this is what? North America, right? <laughs> no, man. Maybe you forgot. Does North America even exist, man? Because I don't see it. But we are talking Florida. And they are searching for the Preston. For 500 years. But only in the last 500 years. <laughs> did they start searching. In the new world. Or the old India Superior. For this fountain. Crazy man. It's crazy talk. We're talking about the same fountain. Mm. Let's get this piece. And the more that it was reprinted, the more fanciful it became as an early contribution to the literature of utopias by Let's Count. There were 100 different manuscripts of the letter Talking Preston John's letter, including 10 in the British Museum. So we got this map in the British Museum. What does it say? Outline copy of the MS map in the British Museum. Circa 1530, with Presta John, Ping Ping Pow, and in India Superior. Uh, not North American, right? I see Mexico. I see Cathay. I see Presta John. I see India, but not. I see Cuba. Let's go. So, in the British Museum, they also got 10, 10 of the 100 different manuscripts of the letter in the British Museum. John Manerville was the first to introduce it in English in 14th century and let's note in the 13th century German poem, George Junger Tutorial, it was woven directly into the story of the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail? Well, we just talk and press the John. We just talking press the John. 
What does he have to do with the Holy Grail? We got before in earlier parts that the Holy Grail was not just a man or a cup, <laughs> but it was a function. You know, it represented the Prester directly. Because so I said to do what? <laughs> You're searching for the Holy Grail. Put it together. And Mama Naga is the four quarters. Put it together. You're searching for Hawa. After you return, you seek the creator. And David. <laughs> so, once you encode, right, just like looking for the Holy Grail, you got to have a pure heart, you know. You got all this chastity and purity, right? Same thing. You keep the code, right? You search for the creator. You seek. You desire. You long for Hawa. Then you search, right? You seek. You desire the Ka. Because you desire the keys <laughs> so you can build right so david in the end of days just like the holy grail being restored and all this seeking of the grail you thought all these movies indiana jones looking for the crusade you know all this crusade situation they're searching for the grail they searching for the press this at the same time they're searching for the grail managa they searching for the press We put it together in the British Museum, right? <laughs> searching for the Holy Grail. At the same time, they're searching for the Preston. We gotta get this book. This Charles F. Bingham. Or Beckingham and Preston John the Mongols and the Ten Lost Tribes. So, why does he continue to be con compared and connected with the Ten Lost Tribes? And they always try to put this <laughs> hijack on him because they reflected him in the New Testament as John. We're just talking Preston John. <sighs> Illustrious, magnificent, what? King of the Indians, well, you must be talking India Superior. Preston John, India Superior. Bang. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up, my nigga. These are maps on maps. Hey, I hope you got your map pack, map pack. <laughs> all on your Ether packs, all on your Preston packs. You got the maps. Let's go. So he's the king of the Indians, kicking it in India Superior. Got it. Got it. Let's go. Explore search for Preston John in Central Asia. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Anagi. Where's Asia? Asia. Florida. South America. Does North America exist or could it be Asia <laughs> so these are key words these are vague terms you see, you see they got an Asia here and they got an Asia on the other side right right you got an Asia over here too right so which Asia it's all vague which India India Superior India inferior? <laughs> Which India, man? It's all vague. <laughs> Asia. Cathay. Let's go. So explorers search for Preston John. Central Asia and the Far East, man. Again, they flipped your map, so you don't know you're in the East. You think you're in the West, right? Including Georgia, Mongolia, even China. China? Which one? <laughs> and then India. Home of the Shrine of St. Thomas. But as men like Marco Polo struck out in finding their man, the target shifted to what they hadn't seen. Ethiopia. Or we're talking Abyssinia. Because remember, Abyssinia predates Ethiopia. Let's Let's get it like it's the first time. 
Abyssinia. We're going to get back on the see Ethiopia flow in the Lost Tribes of Promised Land by Ronald Sanders. Pull it up. Get it out the drive library. The GOAT. Abyssinia. Old name for Ethiopia. Right. All right. So you got the Arabic Habasa. Habasa. Mixed. Habash or mixture. And that's where I say, you know, before you just say oh you know mixing you know the <laughs> the adultery type of way you know you also have a mixed multitude you know what i mean that were israelites medianites you know the tribes of jethro moses's uh, uh father-in-law you know this was considered the mixed multitude you know what i mean coming out of egypt right so you know this mixing situation could go Either way, but either way, <laughs> I'll be seeing you, right? I'll be seeing you. And that's why you have on the bottom of this press to flow here. Let's get it bigger. The Emperador de los Abusinos. So this is the name that predates Ethiopia, which again is a vague term for, you know, copper colored people, whether you're talking east or west or you know, Asia over there or Asia right here <laughs> by Florida, right? <laughs> right here in India Superior. Straight up. Right by Florida. We're just talking about this fountain. Wow. It said uh, in his letter, Preston John had described a mirror in which he could look out and see the world. But so far, the world, at least in Europe, couldn't see him. Wow. Hey, is it play play or is there a magic mirror? <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, man. So they're looking in so-called Africa, they're looking in Asia, they're looking everywhere. Because Presta has the fountain. I love to my Aqua Gina. She dropped some drop on the fountain, and we ain't had no drop like this. We ain't had no lead like this in a while on this fountain. You know, we're gonna have to get a piece of it. You know, first off, it's gonna, you know, it, it just seemed like it was just so cutting edge that we might not be able to share it even on youtube especially on youtube <laughs> so we talked about it already in the ether that's why you gotta be surfing the wave at 432thedrop.com especially you know then press the hours but monogamy you know uh you know we you know i think we had, we did it oh, on the shabbat show shout out to my not just tuning in on the shabbat you know you know popping off right after shabbat on Saturday nights, you know what I'm saying, at 432thedrop.com. And then, you know, we got to talk about this ZZYZX situation, man. And my noggers know they know. If not, we're going we're gonna to touch on it. You know, I'm just going to just gonna touch on it. I'm going to let you dig. <laughs> it's very interesting, Aqua Gina, connected with this fountain of youth. Whoever drinks of his water three times without having eaten, will have no illness for 30 years, and when he has drunk of it, he will feel as if he has eaten the finest meat and spices, for it is full of Hawa's grace. A person who bathes in this fountain, whether he be of a hundred or a thousand years, looking for Preston John. He's looking for the priest king for 500 years, 1145 to 1645. What man do you look for for 500 years? Whether it be of a hundred <laughs> or a thousand. Some say Preston was 1,200 at least. <laughs> so he'll regain the age of 32. Know that we were born in Baruch. Blessed in the womb of our mother 562 years ago. Oh, they're looking for 500 years.
this. Now it's all making sense, cut. So in the Preston John letter that the British Museum has about 10 different copies of the manuscript, can't be play play. <laughs> He's saying that he and the tribe, we were born. We were born. And Baruch blessed in the womb of our mother 562 years ago. He and the whole tribe were over 500 years old. And since then we have bathed in the fountain. How many times? Six times. And this is in 1165 that they say the letter was written, 12th century. So if he's taking six baths by then, Come on, man. Now you're going back and forbidding histories of America with, with Daniel Lowe. You know, Sylvanus to Texas. Uh, Sylvanus Bravo. Yeah, man. You're going back to the 700s. And, you know, these Kalelu's artifacts and this Romani situation, right? So, Managa connected. It's, it's for you. I mean, the ball's right out in front. The ball's right out in front, man. All you got to do is swing. You've been training for this your whole life, man. In other words, Preston John, uh, Preston John, right? <laughs> I mean, they used to have this on this same website, right? Preston John, huh? <laughs> I mean, look at the shoes. Look at the shoes. <laughs> look at the garment, man. Con David. King David was letting readers know why by the miracle of the fountain of youth. He was 562 years old and going strong. As a result of this interpolation, building on the fountain of youth, Herodotus had identified in Ethiopia or Abyssinia, which one? 1,500 years before, Europe's difficulty at making contact with Preston John Europe's difficulty in making contact with Preston John, right? So in memory of those seafarers who searched, who seeked for Preston John from 1145 to 1645, Europe's difficulty in searching for Preston John. Was of no moment. Silverberg argues, for he was immortal. He had that wall. And could wait a while longer to be discovered. But then they started searching over here for the fountain in the last 500 years, they said. So it coincides with the discovery of Preston John right here in America. And even the British Museum is telling us that right in our Facebook. Putting Preston John right with the Four Corners, Arizona, the Grand Canyon, all that, right? In California, we're going to look at a possible lead uh, near or you know, within the California flow. You know what I mean? And like I said, first I was going to just kind of sit on it real, you know, but then I said, look, they already got military bases. They already know about this stuff. So it ain't like we got some secret knowledge that they don't know about. You know, if it was like one of them drops that they didn't even have no no military set up, and, you know, they ain't even looking, then, you know, I would definitely keep it real, real close. <laughs> but this one, you know, they already, uh, the California State University already took it over, like, so they know about it already, man. So we're going to have to catch up a little bit. <laughs> we're going to talk. ZZYZX, man. I'm trying to tell you, it's mind blasting. It's mind blasting. Let's go. We're just talking the British Museum. The British Museum knows that Preston is right here in India Superior, right here in North America. Kind. And they found a bunch of Nagas here and said they come from Africa, right? But not the place that they're connected to, like Asia over here, <laughs> or this Asia here. We can't be in the old world, right? We had to migrate from Africa, right? But all this territory right here, 
we can't be indigenous here, bro. Stop it, man. Hey, time for play plays out of here, man. Time for the white man's breakdown of you, your history. Time for the Darwinism and evolution and all that crap. It's out of here, man. We ain't on no play play. We see clearly. <laughs> we on our search. We on our Presta flow. We on our mixed multitude flow. As long as we got code keepers. We on our dragon flow. As long as we got code keepers to see clearly. Yeah, I'm just going to jump into this uh, ZZYZX and just give you a little snippet. <laughs> a little snippet of what we are beginning to dig on because this is a lot. This is a lot. This is a lot, you know, and I'm just scratching the surface barely, you know. Love to my sister, Gina. Actually, let me get her comment. Aqua left a beautiful comment. Hey, how Aqua Miss D in the copper color waking it. She said, Shabbat Shalom to the home team. Much of how MHOE KTC. No matter what comes your way, family. Blue, purple, red, white, let go. Red, she popping up. Hey, how for support MHOE. Get it in your drop shop at 432thedrop.com. My name is Gina and live in California. You spoke about. <laughs> Uh, Shalom, you spoke about black man, fountain of youth, right? We're digging on that right now. Research the history of the Z, Z, Y, Z, X, Row, San Bernardino County, KTC. <laughs> I heard stories the military had found it. So she heard stories. This ain't just looking at it and saying, you know, this kind of sounds familiar, like the fountain of youth. She heard stories, right? So I'm, I'm going to let... I know my aqua is not bearing false witness. She said KTC. She said KTC. So, all right. Uh, the military had found it. Right? Remember, they just started searching in the last 500 years, right? Put it together. I have been through at least three vortexes while driving or getting off the exit from Barstow, California. Going towards Victorville, California, 30 miles. Military is always involved in the great cover-up and go as far to build military bases on top of sacred land to hide who we are. Ain't that the truth? Pop off, Aqua Gina. There are three bases in my town. I read, watched documentaries on about China Lake Air Force Base. We know where China is. Out of the middle of nowhere for years, I thought Lake uh, meant water. Yes, later I assisted in riding with a veteran to a medical appointment at China Lake. Realized it wasn't a lake. The ground covered with so many solar panels that it looked like a lake. And you might have seen some of these super solar panel areas. It looks like all this reflective stuff. It looks like a lake. The whole ride was weird. I saw so much. Everything was flat. I started feeling energy while approaching into Red Rock Canyon. That was where my ancestors were. It was a vortex we were going through. About a week later, I realized those giant rock formations were that of an ancient giant tree. Oh, man. Aqua is popping off. She's seeing everything. She's seeing clearly. Ancient giant ancient giant tree she said i got pics all right i say that africa is america well hold up <laughs> which america <laughs> does north america even exist are we just talking asia are we just talking india superior she says can you please research the zzyzx road something tells me this is where the fountain of youth is so can you please recon the ZZYZX? I know it sounds crazy, but we got to. It sounds so crazy, you got to look into it, right? The ZZYZX road. Something tells me this is where the fountain of youth is. It has all the ingredients of a cover-up, 
and I can't ignore Queen Khalifa traveled the waters. Was it through the vortexes? Yeah, I mean, we're talking Cali, we're talking the Preston, right? We're talking all that. And it's all popping off in the British Museum. Right? So if Cali's over here, you know what I mean? And you got the Preston, we got maps where it shows, you know, California connected directly with Utah. There was no Arizona. It was just all Utah territory. So, you know, she has to she has to figure in Queen Khalifa. She got to figure in Queen She. So let's dig on the ZZ, YZX road. And this is a great link. I'll leave it for you. and Put a couple more in the drop chatter. So go dig on it. It's from the NPS.gov, all right? Every day, commuters take notice of a strange ZZYZX sign just west of Baker, California on the I-15 and wonder what the heck it means on this page. You can learn the quirky history of ZZYZX, which is now part of the Mojave National Preserve. So every quirky, weird thing like the mystery flesh pit, oh, that's just the world builders, you know, uh, institution. They, they just build worlds. Don't mind it. And then I'm watching this uh, Star Wars uh, uh, Boba Fett, <laughs> and it's showing that he's trapped in this flesh pit, right? <laughs> so they're showing flesh pits on Star Wars, but you know, hey, don't 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 mind the you know West Texas flesh pit. <laughs> All right, now that's a national preserve, and here's another national preserve, ZZYZX. All right, so the story starts thousands of years ago when the area was cooler and wetter. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, thousands of years ago, it was hella water, right? <laughs> now it looks like Mojave, thinking desert, you know, all this California. So now it used to be water, right? A massive lake. The aqua put us on a mission, so... We in the press to flow. We're talking fountain to you. All right, because we can't talk fountain to you without them. <laughs> without them bringing us to the press. And the stories of Preston John, stories of similar waters also feature prominently among the people of the Caribbean during the age of exploration, 16th century. That's where all these maps of India Superior are from. British Museum, Preston John. They spoke of the, res the restorative powers restoring you. That dragon flow renewing you. Of the water in the mythical land of Bimini. Based on these Many legends, explorers, and adventurers look for the elusive fountain of youth or some other remedy to aging. Huh? It's like the dragon flow. It's amazing how much this has to do with the dragon flow. I wonder what the fountain of youth really is, you know. Does it have to be in one place or are you just talking about them primary springs, that spring flow, you know? Coming up from the primary steam from the volcano flow. That's that Yosef the real flow. Getting that Tokef Banak flow. <sighs> Natural healing water that we are not connected to today. They block us off from this, man. They kill our water and then sell it to us in plastic bottles, right? This water had restorative powers. Restorative powers. And you got Preston John popping off. <laughs> Preston John was in the exclusive club of personalities who had staying power for centuries, not just minutes, because he was immortal. He's immortal, and this is why you can search for David in the end of days. <laughs> Reminds me of Moshe. How his body is left unabated. <laughs> Moshe was left unabated. 
that life force never faded. That's that Deuteronomy flow. Talking Dawi. Talking Moshe. All one and the same. Preston. We're talking timelines and chronologies. And this is only happening recently. And so is Moshe. So is Joshua. You're searching for David because he is immortal. He got that water. Restorative powers. These waters might have been a river, a spring, or any other water source said to reverse the aging process. Any water source that reverses the aging process, right? <laughs> Preston John took six baths in a fountain of youth. Six baths turned back to the age of 32. Whether it be of a hundred or a thousand. So why is it connected back to the Preston? Who got the water? And why they start only looking in America in the last 500 years? What's it got to do with the letter of Preston Child? And why they start looking here right after they stop looking there. In the 16th century, 17th century, they knew exactly where to find Preston John. In North America, <laughs> nah, man. Nah, not North America, man. Nah. Asia. Asia, my nah. <laughs> you are in the old world, sir. Madame, you are in the old world. Aqua, you're in the old world. Ah, you're in the old world. They found you here. Told you you from somewhere else. But we see clear. Got a lot to do with this track. We just talking restorative powers. A massive lake called Lake Mojave covered the land. As the climate warmed, the water evaporated, leaving behind a mineral salt crust in the dry soda lake and Silver Lake Basin. Water persistent in the natural oasis and can still be found there today. A natural spring system, huh? Fountain of youth or some other remedy to aging. This water, these waters might have been a river, a spring, or any other water source said to reverse the aging process associated with magical waters remedy to aging. A spring? We're just talking a spring system, natural spring called Soda Springs, which was used by the Mojave and the Kamehawavi people, Hawavi people, for many generations. And by the mid-1800s, it was also used by early Western explorers and the U.S. Army. So it was already used by the Nagas for restorative properties as a natural healing spring. Now we introduce the man they call a crackpot. <laughs> Many of these lanes call this guy straight up a crackpot, but this mo this mofo had to drop. 
he seemed to have quite the drop, and a lot of people knew this, and they were tuning in to see what he was dropping from the water he was finding. <laughs> okay, I mean, this is going to strap on your uh, rain boots. It's going to get it. <laughs> it's going to be some drop dropping. All right, so 1944, everything changed for ZZYZX. A man named Curtis Springer. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Springer got the spring, right? <laughs> Springer at the spring system, right? Come on, man. This reminds me of uh, just what they did again with the mystery flesh pit. You know, some some jabroni. He, he's he's supposed to be the one who invented all this stuff. And, I mean, they always put it on this one person who did this extra extraordinary degree of expertise and you know persistence and abilities to create a world for the mystery flesh pit and brochures and all he just it's a world building program here's another one this guy built a world my not Look at this small print right here. Scientists and students from around the world visit this California State University field station at the edge of the Soda Dry Lake to learn about the Mojave Desert. Weekend extended education courses are open for the public. So now the California State University system owns access to this water, this healing water. They call this dude a crackpot, man. He moved to the area, opened up a mining claim here that eventually turned him into a millionaire. Yeah, I'm going to pull up a couple other links. You're going to see they're calling this dude a crackpot. But he came with some mining claim. Now, mining what? And how many, how many acres do you think he was rocking with right here in the Mojave Desert? Throughout the 1940s, he developed and operated ZZYZX Mineral Springs and Health Resort. So he opened up a mining claim that turned him into a millionaire. He opened up a health resort. What else? The grounds consisted of a two-story castle. All right, so he had a health resort. He had a castle, a dining hall, a library, a lecture room. <laughs> A pool house, a goat farm, and rabbit rooms, whatever that is, rabbit rooms, all right? Although Curtis Springer had left school after ninth grade, he referred to himself as a doctor because he had that hill in water. His radio show, and he was a radio host, <laughs> with a popular show broadcasting over 300 stations worldwide. You're going to see they, they call this guy a crackpot. But he's a millionaire with his mineral springs, his health resort, his two-story castle, dining hall, library, lecture pool. <laughs> pool. <laughs> he has all this, didn't even graduate the ninth grade. And he broadcasts his radio show over 300 stations worldwide. Hundreds of visitors came out to visit his spot. Over the 30 years that he managed the resort, which is a long time, I mean, considering that he's packaging that hill and water, if you know what I mean. He shipped over 4 million packages across the country. Don't sound like he was on no play play to me, including antediluvian tea. Wow. <laughs> and why would he call it anti-diluvian? Pre-flood tea. Nerve cell food. So this water was healing the nerves. Had something called the Hollywood pep cocktail. Probably to snap them back to health. The nearby town of Baker had built a post office just to accommodate his mail. Come on, man. He was popping off so much they had to build a post office nearby in Baker. Don't sound like no crackpot to me. How about you? 
In the 1960s, things started to fall apart for Kurtz. Uh Uh-oh. In the 60s. What else was popping off in the 60s? We on our press to flow. (laughs) We want to know where this healing water is at. And it looks like we got a good lead. Ahab to Aqua Gina. Things started to fall apart for old Curtis Spring. Although many customers were very satisfied with his products. So the customers were very satisfied. But what happened? So the customers weren't trying to take him down. But someone started rallying up somebody to complain. Right? And I'm not going to tell you what the exact complaints are. (laughs) But, you know, they probably said, oh, we, we feeling sick. Right? So... After all, a former employee described Doc Springer's formula as 10% crust from the soda lake, 90% Epsom salt. When truly sick people arrived at ZZYZX, they found that they were miles away from actual medical medical care. So people were coming that were sick, my noggin, to be healed. They found out they were miles away from medical care or hospitals. He was also accused of tax evasion. So he got not only attacked by, you know, informants, whatever, people, you know, roused to start complaining, probably paid off to start complaining. But then here comes the IRS. And then here comes the FDA. And then here comes the BLM. Wow. Everybody popped off in the 60s on old Curtis Spring over here. He got attacked by the IRS, (laughs) FDA, accusing him of false advertisement because he was healing people. Kind of remind you of Dr. CB, right? Finally, the BLM, Borough of Land Management, Stepped in to dispute Mr. Springer's mining claims on the land. So they wanted to take back his mining claim. Now, whether he got it because he was claiming to be indigenous or, you know, another article said he, uh, you know, married a woman, you know, who she had the main claim to over 13, about 12,800, 13,000 acres of land right there. So the ZZYZX is not just a road, it's a land. He named the land ZZYZX. (laughs) And it was 13,000 acres, man, of of water, (laughs) of that natural flow. He built a castle. (laughs) He's shipping out millions of of products, my nigga. He's a millionaire. He's doing this thizzle. Now the FDA come. Now the IRS come. Now the BLM come. Disputes, right? After several, after spending a couple of months in jail. So they threw him in jail. Probably for the tax. (laughs) Because he was making so much money. They said, you ain't paying taxes. Then they say, you don't have no real claim to the land. Then they accused him of false advertising. Then they started complaining. Threw him in jail for the worst of his charges. It was again probably the tax. He lived out the rest of his life in Vegas. Now, California State University comes in. <laughs> she said the Queen Khalifa flow, right? Took over the facility in 1976. So you can't be that much of a crackpot. If, if there's a facility to take over <laughs> by the California State University system, they take over this Mineral Springs, 13,000 acres in 1976, and now operates a desert studies. So now they call it a desert studies center when this is this man's 
hope and dream, his medical rejuvenation, his water he's popping off, four million packages. They had to build a post office just to accommodate him, and they turn it in. The California State University, they turn it into the Desert Study Center. I'm just talking ZZYZX. <laughs> Love the Aqua Gina. ZZYZX is now Desert Study Center. They got that water. They got that water. Open to the public and thanks to its pools of water. Uh oh. It is one of the best birding locations. Oh, that's all. It, it, it gets a lot of birds. That's all they want us to know about. Visitors are invited to walk around Lake Tawanda, Tuende. And imagine being one of the guests here when the resort was at its prime. So now you can just imagine being a guest and getting some of that water. The buildings across the lake are on private property occupied and should not be disturbed. Wow. This old pool house ruin still stands at ZZYZX. The ruins are on a private property at the California State University Desert Studies Center. This is an active educational area with teachers, researchers, and students. But he's a crackpot, right? Are we about to get it? They call him a crackpot. But they took over his recon. They jacked him, jammed him up, threw him in jail. FDA, IRS, BLM. And now you build a study center right there with teachers and researchers and students? Like he wasn't doing nothing? Or was it so marvelous and miraculous? It's a damn uh, national treasure, right? Please respect their privacy. Did you respect Mr. Springer's privacy? Dr. Springer? The surrounding buildings remain active and occupied. The property line is the road that separates Lake Tawanda from the Desert Study Center campus. NPS photo. Wow. Wow. So this thing was that water, right? Let me get up in the drop chat before we pop off at the Lost Tries and Promised Lands and get to another beautiful link. Surfing the wave and press the John 76 looking for that water. And anytime you're on a site at the very bottom, you know, you can click on support Joy World, and that's how you help Nagas build our fence because we popping off, man. Everything's there for you, Managa AI, for your support for real, for real. Hey, I'm in the drop chat, you know, doing what we do. <laughs> doing what we do, drop city, drop city. <laughs> All right, uh, a love to Fat Khan Nenark. He's, he's popping off. All oh, the two planes is coming. Why is everyone just standing? Oh, yeah, he's popping off of that 9 that nine eleven floor. Why not, man? Why not? Fat Khan Ark. Fat Khan and Nark got the drop. Yeah, yeah, he's popping off, man. <laughs> he's popping off. Hey, Aqua Abiyah, 777 Showtime. Shalom, Shabbatai, top of the song. When I want to get... In they won't let me in, but all praise <laughs> the creator I'm in now to show some of how and support allow what hey you know they just trying to you know stop the flow but they can't stop the water they can't stop the water all right it's a couple links here hey love to Papa Daddy the bro Timmy Drewson what it do hey we popping off man hey slow cool. Aqua Top and Zion, hey, we up, man. We up for the TDR live. We just had to get a few things flowing. And, you know, sometimes you just got to take a step back right quick. You know, we wanted to do a lot at one time, but we just needed to rest and rejuvenate. So we coming in out every morning, man. So look out for us on the TDR live. Those are my co-hosts. Let's get to it. <laughs> a couple links up. Let's see what they talking about. The ZZY, ZX. Ahab Aquajin. The Daily Adventures of Me.com. Let's see what they talk about. ZZYZX. Bizarre Las Vegas Road Strip Stop. Yeah, man, you see this, right? A lot of y'all seen this. 
Hmm? Just pass it on by like we always do. We drive from L.A. to Vegas, you know, to Utah. You're going to see ZZYZA. It's going to just say road like it's just a road. You're not going to comprehend that you're talking about 13,000 acres of healing water, right? Okay. But he's just a crackpot. Okay, let's get to it. Directly off the exit, you can find the edge of a beautiful soda lake. The lake is an alkali, salt, and clay rim lake that is usually dry in the winter, which is when we visit it. Consequently, when it's dry, the salt sheet may be as thick as 20 centimeters thick. If you spend some time exploring, you can find remnants of the railroads that went through this neighborhood, as well as evidence of salt mining. So he had a mining claim, right? You got mounds over here, my knife. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Let's come on. You know you're dealing with an ancient world, man. Come on, man. They over here on this play play, but they can't stop the flow. And they can't stop the drive. Hey, a loud wild my night. Checkpoint to checkpoint. Let's see if I can scroll back up here. Let me see what they're saying. On the ZZY. Now, who knew that so much history and beauty could be found on such a random street? <laughs> Unless it's not a street. Into ZZ, Y, Z, X, Row. <laughs> well, you know, we, 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 you know we, we digging on it. And Aqua said she, you know, passed through the vortex and looked like she was looking at these giant trees. 